Kip, how about that stay trashy tour? Low ticket alert. Moving hey some picky hey wickies. Gang, listen, here's the turkey. We've been all over the country. We're coming again. It's a good time. Stand up comedy. Play a little AYG with the crowd. Come and hang. Yeah, guys, this is just the first leg. In March, we're starting Baltimore, Maryland, Virginia Beach, Virginia, Ooh. Richmond, Virginia, Oklahoma City, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, Ooh. Austin, Texas. Then in April, we're doing New Haven, Connecticut, Burlington, Vermont. Then in May, we're doing Tampa, Dania Beach, Florida, Raleigh, North Carolina. Then in June, we're doing Cleveland and Columbus. We're adding more cities as tickets are going quick. Some of them are about to sell out if they're not already sold out, so don't snooze on this. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, <laughs> and we find out they're going to be classy yeah. after just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. A little bit of a solemn day. Oh, no. She's been bedridden for most of the week. Okay. Went to the doctor's. It's not looking good. Uh-oh. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. <laughs> He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. He's my best pal in the you whole You off market. your meds? What the hell's happening here? Oh, I love him. Did, did you just kill off Tootie? Is that what you're doing? You got to run that by me, dude. I give you carte blanche on the Tooties, but if, if you're going to throw her down an elevator shift, I got to know. <laughs> I got to make sure her affairs are in order. Give it up for KJ. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. (laughs) Say a prayer, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, she's fine. Light a candle. She's fine. (laughs) Uh, What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Shred her out. Cooking. Cooking. And obviously, the greatest gosh darn website of all dang tootin' time. Sing it, sister. I'm talking www.patreon.com slash are you garbage, baby. You sign up over there. You get a bajillion hours of content. Mm-hmm. I hear it's closing in on two bajillion hours of content. Wee-wee. Uh, episodes uh AYG, you get... Episodes of Hard Feelings is a completely different podcast. We got a whole bunch of vids of Disney videos dropping this week. Hopefully, if Toby ever gets his finger out of his ass. We got that five <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> They're waiting for it. Clock's ticking, dickhead. <laughs> See, you got to say it on the air. That way, that way, the, that way, the listeners keep them keep them on it. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it as a boss. The fans oh, want it. The customers are demanding. Hold them accountable. Yes. <laughs> How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the aforementioned producer. (laughs) He works the ones and twos. He crosses the T's. He dots the I's. We love him. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? What's up, T-Bone? Know what you're doing this weekend, huh? Just recovering (laughs) from that bus throw. Oh, yeah. (laughs) You're going to have a lawsuit on your hands, though. That's good. (laughs) Buddy, we got a killer guest in the room today. Yeah, we do. I have a standing bet. Anyone who wants to jump in on this can get it. Whose kid is going to triple backflip first, Tim Butterly, Jeremiah Watkins, or Mike Cannon? Yeah. My money's on Tim Butterly. Mm-hmm. Same. Same Shout here. out to Butts. We love you, buddy. The Butts. But that's either here nor there because we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. One of our best pals in comedy. He's family at this point. Sure is. One of the funniest guys out there working. He's got multiple stand-up specials over there on so his many. YouTube page. <laughs> <I> agree, <laughs> Too many. And here's the turkey. Everybody get serious for a second. It's going to be performing at the Gramercy Aunt Theater. Aunt dead. <laughs> <laughs> it just came in. I just got a call from the hospital. <laughs> she ain't going to make it. Each prayer card is attached to a pack of marbles. Yeah, it's on the back of a matchbook or something. I'm just trying to set up zombie Tootie. That's, <laughs> That's how you do it. comes back. It's the last of us Tootie. Uh, Gang, <laughs> let's quit screwing around yeah, here. Quit dicking around. He's going to be performing at the Gramercy Theater oh, yeah. February 25th. If you haven't seen him, if you know him, if you love him, which I'm sure you do, mm-hmm. do yourself a favor and go check him out. He's one of the best working. We love him. Give it up for Mike Cannon, everybody. Yeah, hey. Mike. Mikey. R.I.P. Tootie. No, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. She's I, the one selling the tickets. I, I wish her well. <laughs> Thank you, man. We appreciate your thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Well, in I lieu love of the, flowers. No. <laughs> I love the fact that that's just a major storyline shift. And yeah. You like, it dude, that's there. like that's like universe altering in the in this world. <laughs> I just said she wasn't feeling well. That's all. 
I, I don't see know. See what happens. I you don't said know. it's not looking it's good. good. <laughs> that was the exact yeah, and then once you make some miraculous recovery. Yeah, everybody loves an underdog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everybody loves a comeback, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm with this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's just sad from the Super Bowl. Yeah. She's sad from the Super sad Bowl. Sad from the Super Bowl. That's yeah. what it is. That makes She's sense. She's sad. She's very sad. Mm-hmm. She, she thought it was uh, sounds like drug seeking behavior. <laughs> yes, me. Thought it was a soft call in crunch time. I mean, what are we talking about? You going to the ER to try to get Percocets? What's the matter? I had a bird's in cover. Uh, How the hell are you, buddy? I'm good, man. Thank you. Excited so much for, for the show? Me. Yeah, I'm fired up, dude. I'm, That's you know, awesome. I'm, I'm, I've passed the panic. Uh-huh. I think I don't know if you guys experienced that. No, it really, it, you really. I really panicked yeah. till uh, it was over. Yeah. yeah, everything I do, I have this phase which typically lasts right up until the moment where I'm like, who do I think I am? Whoa, every 100%. single time, yeah, and yeah. just like, and it typically always goes okay. And if it doesn't, it's a funny story to tell. <laughs> sure, but that is my initial like. Like, why? Why would you think this is okay? 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's can I imposter ask, syndrome. Can I ask is this? This might be just a me thing, but no matter where I am oh, or God. where I'm performing. or I always shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I always perform with a little bit of poop in my pants, <laughs> which is probably it's, not far it's off. It's hot and cold at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you got to uh, stop eating icy hot. <laughs> <laughs> My my wee wee like shrinks okay. up a little bit. It wasn't yeah. that far yeah. off. Yeah, you, you get, get that. I like get, you get a little. Yeah, your turtle. Hey, per- she, 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 she yeah. sucks in on. I you. get performance Adderall dick. It just kind of <laughs> comes yeah. on top of my ball bag and just rests there. There's yeah, no well, you're, you're, it's your body scared. You're, yeah, you know, even if you're not nervous, like your body's like, oh, we're about to go do this thing that is inherently scary. Isn't that weird? Because we're going out there to make people laugh, right? But instinctually and genetically, that's there to protect us from like a saber tooth sure. biting yeah, our yeah, dick yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly. the same response our body gets as if we're entering the jungle with a fucking spear, but we're just going up there. Yeah, Tinder's like, weird. My dad hurt me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, God knew what he was doing. Huh? <laughs> Protect the goods. Know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and what's weird is like that um, that doesn't give you a lot of confidence. No. It, if you, it should grow. Is yeah, what it yeah, should do. Yeah, you should I, have a go hanger. Out, go, go out with a hammer. If yeah, I, dude. If I had just that a, saber tooth saw that happy. shit. Uh, yeah, like, just chubbed up. Yeah, little like almost post set. You ever see that Bieber dick pick? Where no. he like he like came out. Oh hey, oh hey, pick it up. Oh, my, Put it right a up peek at that thing. Oh dude, it's like clearly post sex sure. because it's perfect. It's still a little red, gotcha. but it's got like the Gonzo nose dangle, ah. and it just looks like. He just had a good time, but sure. it's not fully. It's yeah, still got room yeah, to grow. Of course, no like kidding. That. Yeah, it's a good piece. Well, I got you a tour on out there. I got a tour concept to pitch you, Mike. Huh? Mike Cannon presents Fluffed Up. <laughs> yeah. good. Now we're talking. Yeah. That's, that's my solo pod. <laughs> <laughs> just you wailing on yourself the whole time. <laughs> Welcome back to Fluffed Up with Mike Cannon. Today's guest is... You can only go so far, though. <laughs> Each app is a cool 60 minutes yeah. on one celebrity guy's deck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I don't hate it. Hey, I don't hate it either. That's actually Not pretty good. Um, that's great. You're going to do anything special? It is a new, you're a New York boy yeah, doing yeah. the Gramercy Theater. Yeah. It meant a lot to us, and we're not even you know uh, New Yorkers. But it is one of those things. That's yeah. in the, are you doing anything special? Here's the thing, man. It's like. I, not, I don't know if you guys do a lot of like pomp and circumstance or like fireworks or you have like like Akash, yeah we got a pyro guy <laughs> Akash brought an entire like native Indian hey, group hey, hey, out hey. there and they're doing dances I mean, on that the was Wilbur his family yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was his uncle but uh so I that like puts pressure on me or it feels like there's pressure to like make it a spectacle to make it a sure. thing the craziest thing that I'm doing is like my wife is designing a floral backdrop. Okay, that's there nice. you go. Yeah, so that'll look that'll look cool. Get a new shirt, fam. I wanted to have a marching band come up right down the line. That'd come, be cool. Come up on stage. Did you guys do anything like that? Like, did you have a dancer, or like a subway drummer a, on a fucking a tiger? Yeah, on a spackle we had bucket. A tiger that we killed after each show. <laughs> it was expensive. We lost all. We lost all of our profit. But Dude, that might be the move. Should I get a spackle bucket subway drummer? Ooh, to just fucking good. open up the show. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Okay, and if, if you, you have any up, leads on one, hit me you, up. Yeah, just go spackle just bucket, go on the spackle, couple of Showtime kids. That's right. I get, pay an exposure. Get up, get <laughs> them up there. Get a homeless guy to come up and take a shit on the stage. <laughs> now we're talking. Ladies selling churros. Free. This is a New York show. Yeah, there you go. Really yeah. New York it out. Ladies selling yeah, churros. All right. Couple of transit cops, <laughs> ladies selling churros during the show, just walking yeah, all around, right. interrupting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had so be those. quiet. They're not that bad down there. No, the subway churros are pretty Woo-wee. good. Were you banged up? Huh? Were you banged up? When? 
when you ordered a Subway churro? No, I'd get him like, during the day. Yeah, He's on his way to work, dude. <laughs> He's eating them for breakfast. I get the He's cin- on his way to his office. Job. I got the cinnamon sugar all over me, dude. I, I'm like deep in Brooklyn. The only chance I'll buy those things is if, if, when I was like shit faced and just yeah, ready to eat whatever. whatever. They give you like fifty. They give you because oh, you ordered fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for fifty, and they gave me fifty. And or a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get with this man? Just leaves the cart and walks away. All right. <laughs> Let's quit Ugh. screwing around, gang. This is a family episode. Yeah. We got Mikey Cannon here. We're going to be uh, doing your questions from the Patreon there mm-hmm. right now. <laughs> I don't think like we need to do that. <laughs> and, and just, you act like we're going right. to cut to like, some guy on the street or something. Sometimes I just fall into it and I can feel the eyes on me. Like, oh, I'm in the hole now. What and you, you panic do? a little bit. But he's dead. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> Have you hosted like a game show or TV show? Or are you just like, do you look up to Dick Clark? Because you do have very like... Host by the book. Sure. Vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, I did the dating game. I didn't fucking host a game show. What are you talking about? If I had game show money? I hosted Cosmo Sexy versus Skanky. Really? Whoa, yeah, I think dude. I remember that. I, like, I think I think I, I just moved to New York yeah, or something. I'm like, this yeah, guy's famous. That's one of the most embarrassing, <laughs> embarrassing I, gigs. I would see you at Stand Up New York. I was afraid to make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> he does a show with Glamo. <laughs> Kapow. Holy shit, he has no security with him. Can you believe that? <laughs> Wait, who was it for? Cosmo? Cosmopolitan Magazine. Where, where, where was it? Air? Where did it air? On nowhere. YouTube. It was a, <laughs> nowhere. We just recorded it for ourselves. And uh, it's good. I'll give you a copy, though. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. That's how people watch it. I, I hand couple. them a flash drive if they're interested. I got a couple of tapes at home. <laughs> Here's your VHS tape. Uh, but it was me, Lindsay Rodriguez, who was like one of the final hosts of TRL on MTV. She's like this hot Australian woman. Sure. Uh, and I was like the injected male opinion. I was supposed to be the dude's dude. Mm-hmm. And you could tell because every time I go to speak, they just like cut to somebody yeah. else. It was just wildly inappropriate the entire time. Red meat, titties. <laughs> yeah, <what the> fuck? <laughs> I'm like, don't you think that women are stupid? Yeah. And they're like, all right, well, dude. Yeah. It's just really. <laughs> yeah. I was well, due a- to their tiny brain. <laughs> I was at that point in my life too, like a 25 year old sure. fucking kid, just like angry at women for yeah, no she's reason. She's a whore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's Madeline Albright. Take it easy, will you? <laughs> Uh, even more so. Well, they'd be like, body language is just as important as verbal language. And I'm like, well, then why can't I read consent from a foot tap? Like, oh, <laughs> Jesus like, Christ. Like, All right, get out. <laughs> We're bringing a new guy. God, God. Um, uh, we had, my cousins had a bunch of Cosmopolitans when I was young. Tug your little root to it? <sighs> Did oh I God. ever? I would go through every single page and read some of the articles. <laughs> well, because the articles were sometimes... Learn how to give the best blowjob. <laughs> 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 Did those do it for you? Because oh, I they, read I mean, those articles. As a, a ninth, whatever, yeah. be, this is pre-internet, you know. Yeah, that would, you're, you're at least learning something. Yeah. Like, oh, shit, yeah. Like, like that's, erotica. That, so Dude, that's, 100%. That's the benefit of us growing up, right, is there was almost a gradual incline to porn. Sure. Whereas now, you are just fucking in double penetration. Yeah, yeah right that's away. What you Video. Get. I yeah. mean, we had to go, like, pictures on the internet because your sure. internet couldn't handle a Movies. video. Yeah, v- VHS, yeah. whatever, yeah, DVDs. Jerking off to a magazine was such a weird thing. There was a lot it of was them. East Bay. <laughs> <laughs> they had good deals. They're going, you're going nuts over the cleats. Why are you thinking? <laughs> you ever tried jerking off to a Kelly Blue Book? Yikes. <laughs> Uh, did you guys hide or uh, hide any of your stuff or get I had caught? A, I had a Playboy. I wasn't a barber shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. a, is my buddy Danny Seliger, this is how you could tell. Like He had like he was nine and his dad was like 400. He had like an old dad. Old dads are tough. <laughs> uh, crazy. Every Mike Cannon story has a first and last name of a real guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. This guy and one, one of the you best athletes. his last athletes, name was Seliger? Seliger. Oh, okay. One of the best athletes ever could like, th- he could pitch lefty and righty, mm-hmm. but was also like smoking cigarettes at sure. seven. Yeah. Like just, you know, whatever. <laughs> Kind of guy. He would have Shout his dad dope. had Playboys just on Ow. the coffee table yeah. when we were 10, 11 years old. Was he married? No. Okay. No, no. That was just his I, home. That would be a that would be next level yeah. trash. Right next to the leather love seat. Oh. Sure. We I had a couple I had a couple of friends whose dad, they were married. There'd be a stack of magazines next to the turtlet, and there'd be a couple shifted in there. Okay, yeah. So oh, I could tell the last one. Discreetly. Picked up. 
discreetly. I see. But everybody kind of it was very it was very cosmopolitan house. They were very progressive. The mom, you know, whatever. Yeah, they were. You know. Yeah. It was Playboy, so you could kind of get away it was with tasteful. <laughs> yeah, it's artist. You yeah. kind of get away with. Uh, I wanted we'll to read the article about apart. Michael Jordan yeah. or something like that. So yeah, the pl- uh, my mom found my Playboys because I put it in like my memory tub. Like I had that Tupperware thing of like all my report cards from when I was a kid. <laughs> like that'll, this, okay. that'll break a mom's heart, huh? <laughs> <laughs> dude. Exactly. All your She's baby like, pictures are ripped out. <laughs> going through it, just seeing like her sweet little boy, and then peeling. Asshole. Off the thing, and it's just like Jenny McCarthy peeling her lips open. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah it dude. was. And uh, yeah, it was. But the worst thing I had, I had like, and I blamed my friend Rob, who like I wasn't allowed to hang out with for eighteen months because I just completely shifted blame yeah. to him for giving this to me. That's what you gotta but do. I had a like a huge plastic Ziploc bag with like cut out pictures of naked women from different publications. Okay, and, cut them out, dude. And I used Yikes. to hide it under my Psycho. shed, so I got it. I didn't even cut the pictures. I received the bag from a kid who was done with them. Yeah, and then I oh, just the heat was on in his house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fuzz was. He had five down. stars on yeah. GP- GTA. <laughs> they're gonna start. They're gonna start sweeping the cells. As he put it, the spark was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just not feeling it with these girls anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> All we do is argue. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Trina. <laughs> uh, so you have her. So yeah, I, I used to bury them under my shed in the backyard because I had gotten talk about caught. really being horny. Yeah. <laughs> You're burying cut We're out. We're not talking about yeah. like shovels and shit, right? You just slide them. I mean, I, I'm talking like like almost rabbit digging a hole, like kind of like moving soil, putting them under there, covering it back up. I just pictured bricks. mom <laughs> sipping a cup of coffee, looking out the window. Man, that boy really loves digging. <laughs> <laughs> Just loves the dirt. <laughs> There's just dirt flying <laughs> <Yeah>. from behind. <laughs> See, he's gonna be an architect. <laughs> Say what you will, but you know, dude, it is true though. Like for a long time, I had real anxiety, uh, worried anytime it rained because I thought the rain would like displace the pictures sure. and like kind of wash them onto my backyard. Oh no, dude, just living in panic. You loved her, you know. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I said he loved her, the girl. We um. Wait, it was the same girl or multiple girls? <laughs> it was multiple girls. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought, all right, okay. That That's what be, I originally thought. It's just all Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, I wouldn't hate that. Uh, we SMG. stashed them underneath a abandoned tractor trailer that was in the woods. Nice. Not a good look. No. I don't know how it got there. That's devil worshiper where I come <laughs> yeah, from. Yeah. yeah. We put it under where the, ti- where the extra tire would have went. Did you find them there? Or did it, like did you find them in the woods? Because woods were a big place to find. Uh, woods oh, yeah. were a good like, place. <laughs> like no country for old men. You're getting hunted down by other kids. <laughs> you just throw the There's bag of porn There's a GPS in my porno bag. <laughs> <laughs> you find the buzzer, throw it. It's too late. <laughs> Some fifth grader shows up at your house. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss, Mike? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> shout out to No Country. That's a goddamn that fucking be, star-studded that event. <laughs> uh, I've mentioned my uh, <laughs> kid I grew up with. His dad owned a bunch of independent rental store, like video rental stores. Oh, okay. And when they went out of business, he just oh. kept all the all the porn. Like he sold everything else and kept all the porn. It was the kid did or the no, dad, the dad did. did. That's Which yeah, nuts. he was not great. Um, like, but like floor to ceiling boxes <laughs> in his basement. Here, like, hang on, it's like the money boxes and blow. Dude, it was <laughs> like, it was like it, everywhere. It's two. It's two and a half. I don't yeah, care. I, don't, I weighed it. Yeah, <laughs> was those in one copy of Mrs. Doubtfire? It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Which I called. I got dibs. Um, yeah, Gazongas three was the first one we clipped from there. <laughs> no shit. Uh huh. I watched oh, uh, right. Flamingo Ride On. <laughs> That was my first ever porn. I watched it with my buddy Timmy, his older brother Billy, and like five <laughs> neighborhood of his old... affair. <laughs> yeah, dude, like five of Billy's friends. Yeah, right. so, you know, you had one tape, uh, yeah, one TV, of and then I I went into the bathroom because I you know I felt uncomfortable. I'm like hard and dizzy, and I walk into dizzy. the bathroom, piss came out, and like they all were looking at me, and I was like, mostly come. Like oh. I, that's how little I knew about sex. Yeah. I was like, this is crazy, right, guys? I just came in there, and I just like, peed come out. No, there. you very didn't. <laughs> We stole our magazines from a uh, a place called Paperback Trader in our hometown, which had uh, it was like a bunch of old books, and then I guess to fucking bring a little cash in, yeah, yeah they had- keep the foot traffic. You know I mean? <laughs> 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 Got to get them in the door with the news. Nobody's coming in for Paradise Lost. You know what I mean? <laughs> coming in for the action. Fucking Larry Flynn over here, sex sells. <laughs> 
<laughs> couple of Jane Austen novels and fucking Hustler. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of cherries. Did you uh, got? Were you early on AIM too? Because I, I talked about this with somebody yeah. recently. But What's I AIM? used to go AOL Instant Message. Oh. I used to go into the chat rooms. Like at first, I was like in basketball interest and talking. Sure, I was like, like wrestling and stuff like that. And then I would go into like <laughs> divorce or sex oh, yeah. or whatever, and I'd be talking to who I assumed were divorced women, but probably, probably some just, sort of old guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like talking about how to spice up their marriage and like what AIM. How old are you? Do. I'm like eleven. Holy at my shit! My grandparents. Yeah. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm at like my grandparents' one computer in their living room, looking over my back as my grandpa's watching the Giants, yeah. and I'm like, you know, talking to. Wait, who you're I think 11 a, years old, trying to tell, tell tell some lady how to spice up her marriage. Yes. Have you ever yeah. Did your husband like roller coasters? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man, Dolores? You got to get the magic bag. <laughs> You need to go to Action Park, lady. Yeah. The show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Oh, yeah. Gang, if you got some things going on and you want to feel empowered, do yourself a favor. Get over to BetterHelp and get on that online therapy. Yes. Talk to somebody. Uh Uh-huh. I got to. I've been telling you for two, three years now. You think I'm your therapist. (laughs) I ain't. I'm screwballs. Sign up at BetterHelp. Promo code garbage. Visit BetterHelp.com. Says garbage. Get that big noggin of yours straightened out. I got to do something. I'll tell you that, gang. Yeah. Um... BetterHelp is therapy uh, is a therapy option that is convenient, flexible, and affordable, and entirely online. You fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm a big uh, big proponent of uh, talk therapy. It's fantastic. It has changed my life multiple times throughout the times I've done it. Sure. Uh, different phases of my life when you need it and stuff like that. It's great. I highly recommend it. With BetterHelp, it's easy peasy. You sign getting. Making the call or going to visit the guy, it's the hardest part. This you at least get in the therapy pool, and then you can stick and move, figure out what works for you. You know, I what used I mean? to hate going. I know. Do you do, do it, it right from the from house. house? Do it on the turtle it if you want to. <laughs> turtle it. Uh, if you want to live a more power life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash garbage today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P dot com slash garbage. Do it, gang. Don't be Looney Tunes out there. Yeah. Kibby, it's time for this plate. This Play. Let's go. Don't be a bozo. What are you doing? Banging holes in the wall? Look at the top quality of this product uh-huh. right here. You want cool posters to put on the wall with magnets? Get over to Display. You can make your own in 20 seconds. And they also got nice licensing deals with South Park. They mm-hmm. got Aliens. They got Fight Club. Whatever you need over there. Yeah. Got a little Seinfeld here. If you can think it, Display can put it on a gosh darn metal poster. It's the only poster going up in my house nowadays. Put your butthole up. <laughs> I guess you could. I'm mean, great at R. Thanks. That'd have to come in a discreet package. <laughs> you don't want the mailman seeing that. Woo wee. Uh, it's fantastic. Got everything. As you know, we're big Seinfeld bus, so this is the one we got. Hachi Machi. Check mm-hmm. it out, gang. You're cool. This is a poster for the uh, the older gentleman or gal. You know what I mean? Sure. Not, this ain't this ain't Spencer's gifts black light posters. Yeah. This is this is art. This is wall art. Talking, That's what I'm calling it. Talking metal. Uh, click the link in our description to see some of our favorite displays and save up to 34%. Hachi, machi. You get 20%, 27% off when you buy one or two and 34% off when you buy three or more. Discounts will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link or use code GARBAGE when you visit Displate.com. That's Displate.com, code GARBAGE, or click the link in our show notes, gang. Come on now, back to that gosh darn show. Yeah, they, thinking about it now, like they had to have known it was a kid. They had it, it just in terms of like cadence and the words that I of course and all that shit. But I'm thinking I'm aging um, myself up to 45 and like crushing the game. You're saying shit like boobs are rad. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you just try to show them your cool boobs? <laughs> Maybe that'll do it. Maybe we show me your cool boobs. I'll tell him about your cool boobs. <laughs> Is he still putting his wee wee in your cooter? <laughs> that was a unique choice. Cooter was a big one. Yeah. Cooter was huge. Yeah. yeah. Cooter. The cooter. Shout out to it. I feel like we're in a sleepover right now. <laughs> this is I'm fun. chumming up. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, tell Mrs. Cannon to get some pizzas in here, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of bagel bites. <laughs> Throw on gremlins. Let's yeah. go. Oh, that was another time. I used to, I, I've jerked off at sleepovers when my friends have gone to sleep. Oh, yeah. like late night Ho- Howard Stern, mm-hmm. and you try to like magic eye the blur. <laughs> you like, yeah, can yeah, see yeah. a ship in the middle of a oh, painting. Of course. But it's a labia. 
And then yeah. his big nose comes in the shot and ruins the whole vibe. Yeah, but I, you know the voice. Something about the voice still helped it move it along. If he was off, if he was off cam, but he was just like, oh yeah. Surely. Howard can have a real sexy yeah. voice when he's talking to somebody, trying yeah. to get something out of him. Yep. Woo, man, you really get into it. Uh, I was always the kid at a sleepover. I just, I just got <laughs> lost in a memory. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, oh, man. Just... Wow. I really, I really went down the yellow. He shook me out of it. Kevin, you're sweating. <laughs> it's been days. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big beard. <laughs> I got to get to the grammar seat. <laughs> The big beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I was gone. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Where'd you go? Tell us all about it. <laughs> I will. You were talking to Howard. Uh, my uh, friend of mine uh, went on Howard. Girl we grew up with. The hot girl we grew up with yeah. went on Howard. We were. No kidding. Uh, we graduated. It was going into freshman year of college, I guess. Yeah, had we were out of high school. I was going into freshman year of college, and she went on to become a like they 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 took three girls, and That's she huge. she became a playmate. Holy shit! Yeah, really. And, but my buddy was over at my other buddy's house, and like he called me like a hundred times at like eight a.m. and I'm like, "What, dude?" He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "To your whole he's, life." He's like, "Shannon, <laughs> Shannon's topless on Howard right now." I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking took the chopper up. <laughs> Denise, put Kevin on the phone right now. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> How Just do it. it. <laughs> describe them. I remember that drive to that. It was oh, about yeah. 20 minutes away from my house. Yeah. Dude. I was hauling ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it on Howard Stern Topless right now. <laughs> Blow it, blowing red lights. Uh, yeah. You get pulled over. Where are you going so fast, boy? You know Shannon, don't you? <laughs> Follow me, young man. <laughs> he puts on the lights. Gives you an escort. <laughs> this fat little bastard's got to jerk off in his friend's mom's bathroom. You are wrong. Uh, <laughs> two motorcycle cops leading you down. <laughs> you got a helicopter following behind you. <laughs> Hey, man, you got pressing business. <laughs> oh, that's a good time right there, Kip. Oh, that's where I went, if you're nice. curious. Hell yeah. I like it. That's uh -huh. like getting drafted to the majors, dude. That is a huge moment to be on Howard and then land Playboy. Yeah, here, this is her. That's small town. Oh, what did she go by? Like Olympics. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is what she went by. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you guys don't name names. That's probably smart. Uh, <laughs> I forgot it was a big show. <laughs> <laughs> you know my friend Phil Henderson? <laughs> uh, Mr. Saracola, we oh, need to yeah, see you in our right office. There. Oh, man. Did you go to high school with her? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. That's uh -huh. just a... Uh, man. She's come to our shows before. Talk no, about not... Matter, I'm sure. Talk about not having a shot, huh? No. Look at you. She dating dudes that were like in college and shit. There was uh, nobody that hot at my school. Really? Like, yeah, I mean, hot. that's that's an anomaly. They that's, were hot for my school, sure. no, but they weren't like she's like that. universe hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's that's crazy. Hmm. Uh -huh. That almost looks like pla like yeah, it's like plastic toy hot. Sure. Where you're just like well, this almost doesn't even register as a person. Sure. Yeah. You're like alien. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to respect you. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, could treat you like you're not even real and have no feelings. Makes it easier to chop her up and put her in the cooler, eh, Mikey? <laughs> Bury her under the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cut her up into pieces. This time it'll be back. a real girl. <laughs> They'll never find her. Even I don't care how much it rains. You're going to get along with the other girls real well. Your mom's looking at the back again. What the <laughs> hell is he doing out there? He just this loves is a that deeper knife, hole. Huh? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, right. Yeah, no good, huh? <laughs> I forgot. You guys don't name names. <laughs> good, good idea. Good. <laughs> I was always the kid at the sleepover that fell asleep last and woke up first, and it was torture. That's no what shit. anxiety, dude. Yeah. Hated it, man. Yeah. Hated it. Everybody would be asleep. I couldn't sleep. Just laying there all jacked up on no Sour shit. Patch Kids. <laughs> and then I would fucking fall asleep, and I'd wake up at like 6 a.m., and I'd be the one upstairs having caught, like sitting there with <laughs> Coffee his, with the dad? Yeah, yes. dude, just sitting there. Yeah. He's like, you, you want something? How's some Tony doing in school? <laughs> dude, 
My, I, I had a friend spest the exact same. Woke up early and would smoke cigarettes with my dad out Jesus on the driveway. Christ. He was 12. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't ripping heaters. I had a bowl of kicks or something while he had his <laughs> In fairness, he's one of like six Irish kids. <laughs> they lived on top of each other. Sure. He had a stressful existence, so my father gave him the green light. Yeah. Smoking cigarettes. Hey, listen, you know I don't condone this, but. <laughs> but I get it. You got a rough paper <laughs> route, pal. <laughs> What are you taking your coffee, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Bailey's, a gentleman. <laughs> you shit to your dad a like... A little bit of Bailey's. All right. Hey. Oh, you brought your own whiskey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, Sean. <laughs> you say shit to your dad like, if you ever need a little extra work, hit me up. I yeah. can help you out. <laughs> <laughs> you ever looking for side work? <laughs> Notice the crown molding's not finished downstairs. Uh, Who are you using, by the way? <laughs> did you have, like, anxiety as a kid? Like, did you have diagnosed anxiety, or you just thought you were, like, a nervous guy? Uh, undiagnosed everything. Mm -hmm. Still all, has it all. Oh, sure. Yeah, all yeah, down yeah. the line. <laughs> it's it's they, worn. And if they, you ask him, he's working on it. <laughs> <laughs> With an attitude. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, how, that's how it comes. That's what, I'm working on it. I'm like, all right, man, I just asked Working, you on, you working on making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's what macro dosing every day is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I take a cool two grams of mushrooms every day, and I'm just kind of rainbowing through life. Yeah. <laughs> really gritting my teeth. Oh, man. <laughs> um. The macro dosing, though, when you come out of it, though, you feel a little bit better. Oh, 100%. It's a real tough ride, though. Yeah, yeah. I have a oh, I habitual have a, drug use. Yeah, it'll do that. I have a period during mushrooms where it's like if I take a full dose, there's a solid it's anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour where I call it nope, where you're just not allowed to talk to me. You can't come near me. I got to process and deal with what I'm going not a great time weathering. And then once I then then the elation of mushroom mushrooms sure. kicks in. And then it's social. Then you get, that's yeah. a different part of the trip. Yeah. But there's like an internal period where I need to sword fight my demons for a solid hour. Yeah, it's like digging yeah. downward to yeah. get out. Yeah, yeah. Very strange. Yeah. Um, but yeah, undiagnosed all the way through. <laughs> yeah, I, they didn't know anything about that. I had acid reflux when I was a little kid, and, no, and they didn't realize Real it. healthy kid he was. <laughs> I just thought everybody's fucking throat felt like it was on I got fire bunions. after having bacon in the morning. Like literally just like, <laughs> killing me. Up oh. until in my in my twenties was the first time I started taking anything for it, and I probably had it since I was eleven. Holy shit! Yeah, rough go. Yeah, not bad. I had a buddy who was like we called him Baby. He was so small in high school. He wrestled at ninety seven pounds, blonde hair, blue eyed, just a <laughs> classic target. And now he is two hundred and sixty pounds. Jeez. Decked the fuck out, and he's as tan as can be, jet black hair. He he's a Dominican man. He's yeah. fully transitioned. <laughs> he's, full form. It, he's a monster, too. Monster. <laughs> yeah, but he used to get, uh, the reason I brought him up, he used to get uh, hardcore migraines at sleepovers. And my, my mom would feel so bad for him because he's a sweet little Swiss Miss boy. And he'd be like, Mrs. Cannon, I don't feel good. Can you call me? It's not a lisp. Yeah. <laughs> my tummy <laughs> wooey does my hurt. My tummy hoots. <laughs> so she'd have to stay up with him at fucking 3 a.m. Migraines as a little yeah. kid. I yeah, know. my sciatic is acting up yeah. a little bit. But that's that same shit. It's like undiagnosed anxiety. They didn't know anything yeah. about Nothing. that shit back then. Nothing. I learned about it in mid-20s. Mm -hmm. I remember my dad going... I was like panicking over something. He's like, oh, you're a wary wart. I'm like, it's also because you're a unhinged psychopath. <laughs> <Yeah. but laughs> I mean, you fly off the handle at any chance you get. Dude, that might have me on edge a little bit, pal. When I was in my 30s, I described depression to like my sister. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you ever like feel anything like that? Or does that like, because nobody in our family has ever gone through this before. And she's like, what do you mean? Our grandpa put his service revolver in his mouth in front Jeez. of the family. And I was like. All right. Cool. Like yeah, that, yeah. that might have made me feel less alone when I was a kid. Yeah. I didn't know what anxiety was. And then I was describing. Oh, yeah. I like, remember that Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Do you ever have to like you're somewhere and then you just have to leave? And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, that's every day for me. I just got to fucking just got to get the fuck out of whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's anxiety. I'm like, oh, OK. I, I have see. a thing now, which which uh, uh, anytime we anytime, like even when we went to Disney to film any type of travel. That's vacation esque. Mm. Massive anxiety about it. No shit. Because you know, as much as I love, I, lo I love the fam and all that stuff. Every single vacation we ever fucking went on, no matter what, there was always a war. Yeah, there yeah. Were, between them, me and my brother would start shit, and they would just be like this anxiety. 
of were you flying as a family never never yeah no i never, never. flew with my family either. never my mom well, took diet Chinese pills baby. for a little while yeah <laughs> <laughs> she was flying fen fen <laughs> She was rocking a couple of Dexans from back in the <laughs> she was I'm like, kidding, Patty. I love you. She was on those fat burners that killed those football players. Woo! What's that? The, what was Asper? No, not Aspartame, but it was uh, Ephedrine. Yes. Oh, Ephedrine, yeah. yeah, yeah. When those kids, they, they were like doing two-a-days in the NFL, and like mm-hmm. two linebackers just fucking keeled over. Yeah, we like, rocked those mm-hmm. back in the day. Yeah, We also rocked something called Mini Thins, which they sold at 7-Eleven, but it would get you where you needed to go. Sure. Mini Thins? Mini Thins. thins. They did, they were... They were some kind of like bronchial dilator or something like that. I don't know what it was. Sounds like poppers. <laughs> no. Bronchial it dilator. Would, it, it, it like amped you up. It was some type of amphetamine. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah, I took clenbuterol, right. which is like what they found in Canelo Alvarez's meat. <laughs> it was like a PED, but it's a horse asthma medication or something like that. I or take all. albuterol. <laughs> yeah. It what is, was he, a dog? He put it in his meat? It, so it makes you grow lean muscle and, like, shreds you the fuck up. It's what I st- I, I took, like, over-the-counter steroids, and I stacked it with that. But it also tremors you out, so you, like, Jesus. are just, I'm walking through life like this constantly. Jesus, I'll just be fat, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm now chilling. now I think that way. Yeah. But back then, I was like, what's life without abs? Sure. Hey, you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever want to find that, come to my house. I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> all right. Let's quit screwing around. Let's get into some cues here. Sure. <coughs> Guys, so as you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon over there. We I will... gave him the pitch. Okay. That was rude. Guys, as you know, when you sign no, up for the old. No, 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 no. When you sign up for Patreon, we'll answer your garbage question on the air. Mm-hmm. Uh, Toby's ball massage. Uh, that's a new one. <laughs> new $10 homie. It's Toby's burner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally not Toby. <laughs> But Toby is great. Uh, is it garbage to come out of the bathroom and say, she's all yours to the next person? <laughs> I watched a female nurse say it, and it ruined my day. <laughs> Tap in your stomach. You got a newspaper oh. under your arm. She's all yours. <laughs> I mean, that you at least know you're about to walk into an active it's war It's not zone. great, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's kind of, it, it depends. What you want, do you want to be surprised? Like, Walking into your bathroom up here, I walked in and there's an old man that that works on this floor that potentially has the most rotten asshole of sure, any human yeah, being. Yeah, there's a couple of tough cookies up Dude, here. I mean, he is dying. He's a dying man. His, <laughs> yeah. his colon is It might have been decaying. falling, for being honest. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. I know exactly you're talking about that. Yeah, he has like halitosis of the sphincter. And right I now. saw him once. <laughs> That's a medical. T- I saw him walking in before with a couple of checkers bags. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, at least you that know, was that, no Nutrigrain bar. I'll tell you that. <laughs> if he came out and was like, "She's all yours," I may have been okay with it. Sure, but walking I get that. in and seeing him get like spooked and almost you know die, <laughs> pulling his pants up. You, oh, you smell the fucking ghosts of his past. <sighs> oh man, that, um, that bath's not a good bathroom. In no, there. it's tough. It's bad. No, it's brutal. I get a little um, when a, when a lady comes out of the bathroom and you go in there and you and and you know. Sure. There, there was some some work being done in there. Yeah, and I really, I don't know what it is. It's, it's worse. It's not for you. No, nah, it's not for I me. I mean, okay, that's not. That's I don't not, know why. I don't, I don't know if that's a hot. Take. I mean, yeah, that's. <laughs> it's also you're like it's worse. I've I've walked in the bathrooms. Mo- I've walked into this bathroom last week that. I am it's a like di- say, I am a disgusting. It was com- it was comical. It was like somebody set off stink bombs in yeah. there. <laughs> it just it was like comically smelled like poop. Let me put it this way: it just. Throws me off. I'm not expecting it. It's like a punch in the face. You know it what hurts I mean? you. Well, too. we look at you and we expect it. Of course, <laughs> you look at me. You're like, I'm not. You know, pooping like a goddamn yeah. trucker. You got to redo the drywall and stuff like that. Yeah, if you walk through the Lincoln Tunnel, you wouldn't come out smelling good either. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. I remember. I one time I had. It's a- always a surprise. You catch it like, oh god damn, mm. that came out of that. Yeah. When someone hit you with the. Oh, uh, someone took a shit in there. Like, I had that happen where it was like a single bathroom. I was like waiting for yeah. like a minute or t- like. Oh, that, w- that wasn't me. It's, then, it's the first thing I say. That wasn't me. I was being. Always. Yeah, nobody <laughs> believes that. <laughs> a single person on face value was like, you know what? That's a truthful. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Probably just doing push ups in there, ain't eh, big guy? <laughs> Posted something for the gram. Yeah, you were in there for 48 minutes. 
I was peeing. I did some laundry <laughs> through a loading. <laughs> I have an inflamed prostate. It's trickling out. Yeah. I bring a towel with me to put it over my shoulder. I just grab the shower. That's when you know it's bad, when you fucking have to dress like a black comic to shit. You just right. have a towel over your shoulder. Yeah. You Craig Robinson Woo! mop your brow after each push. Mm. Oh, that's Man. tough. <laughs> There's nothing worse than that. A home run of a question. Yeah, um, all right, this one's from Undercover Grimace. First time, long time. Merch for things you don't own. A Harley Davidson t-shirt or perhaps a Ferrari. Ferrari hat. Uh, I remember my dad had Porsche driving gloves one time that I think he won in like a golf outing. And he, I was like seven, and I'm like, well, you shouldn't be having these. This is, you drive a Jeep, dude. That's a tough look. Yeah. I didn't know. Did he use them to drive? No, they were just like in, like, he got them, I assume, in like some raffle, I think something. Right. And they were like Porsche driving gloves with like a hat, like a Porsche hat. They also sometimes, they sell those at like flea market. Like my family used to go to the Stormville flea market. Most of my youth was spent going antiquing with my parents. It's like fucking brutal. Yeah. Dude. And they would absolutely like have no empathy for us. Uh -huh. Never let us like check out toys or like get us something. To really? Help incentivize us to be human beings. Sure. We're on blacktop in the middle of Storm King, New York in fucking August. Those, yeah, were, the, those were the worst. Yeah, Ones just, in parking lots were dude, so bad. Cars are like trying to like, or, I mean, dogs are trying to like get under tables to seek shelter. Like it's that type of hot sure. shit. And my dad's like, what do you think of this old fucking who? gives a shit uh -huh. and i'm just like dude this i is need the water <laughs> yeah just the absolute fucking water. kids think this 18th century waffle maker look good in the kitchen <laughs> but mark. they had they they would often have like ferrari gear or sure. stuff like that porsche gloves yeah, 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 jackets yeah, 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 yeah shit like that that was hot there. i never trusted adults that wore leather gloves I don't know why. OJ. Yeah. No, just That's even, why even I, in my that, head, I don't trust I'm that. talking about the thin ones, like not like thinner than isotoners. I don't know why. I just never trusted it. Like mm. dri like real driving gloves? Yeah. I'm yeah. not going with that guy. Yeah. Beat it. I guess you're kind of right. I'm hap Something's happening in my body right now that you're mentioning, like those real, like when somebody oh, pulls a glove yeah. tight like that. That had yeah. the the, yeah. the button? Yeah. Yeah. What are you, fucking yeah, my dad Barry Bonds? Get out of here. Yeah, my, dad dad gloves? my dad drove... It, it back to back, like he was making money for a short period of time, and then you know, in classic fashion, just lost it all. Yeah, we did the same. Thing. Uh, he dry, he bought a BMW 325i, nice. and that like six speed, you know, manual shit. It may have been only five. I have no idea, but it went up to a hundred when I was a kid. And then he had a Audi A4 Quattro. Okay. And those were his two like race cars. Mm -hmm. Those were his babies, and he would fucking just pull those. Yeah, skin take it tight. out for a Sunday. Yeah, Sunday drive. Drive Mach three with his child in the back seat. <laughs> fucking you fly that? all over. You little pussy. <laughs> Got a lead on an old birdhouse. Yeah. <laughs> Did they ever have any like big scores antiquing? No, no. There was no. never any like we bought something to make money. Okay. So it was only to decorate our home. Hmm. It was like it, it was pointing out now like Pawn Stars wasn't around. None of that stuff was really, I guess, even in the ether. Like nobody. Sure. It was only like resell it at your home at your home during a garage a sale when your family gets destroyed or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> nobody goes to see how much this is worth. Family going at a business sale. Oh, dude, I had to get rid of my ping pong table. I had to sell it to a friend when my family's uh, family broke up. Jesus. Yeah, we had a divorce sale right on the fucking driveway, and I had to, like, haggle with my buddy's mother about this thing that I had to get rid of no matter Jesus. what. Jesus. And she knew it. Wait, your mom you're, you're took it to the cleaners. <laughs> yes, I respect dude. that. <laughs> Beat up a little kid on price when his life's in shambles. Worst day of his goddamn life. Well, it's not like your parents are getting back together. <laughs> Where are you going to put this? In your dreams? <laughs> Word on the street is your dad's already seeing somebody. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Makes you bring it over and deliver yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to put this in your grandmother's house where your mom lives or the apartment your dad yeah, just got? Yeah, not going to be able to turn the corner in the basement. What are you doing? This won't fit in the room you're going to be sharing with your uncle. <laughs> wow, yeah. that is fucking brutal. Yeah. Man. That's a tough one. I would have took a hatchet to it just to spite the... Yeah, I would have burned it. <laughs> <laughs> took the money and fucking fucked it up. Um, Here you go, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Kicked a leg out from under it. Mm. Um, all right, let's see. Yeah, this one's from Garbage. Ten dollar home skill and ever to question it. Is it garbage to dress like you are classy, but you commute to work wearing rollerblades? 
<laughs> I guess you see that in New York, like mm-hmm. a guy on a bike with a helmet in a suit. Yeah, or a or scooter. scooter. A scooter is huge. Like, what the fuck I are hate we doing? That and they'll, they'll have like a backpack on. It's yeah. like, get a briefcase. Or if you have a backpack, just fucking put your suit in it. Yeah. <laughs> like wear workout wear no- clothes. Yeah, wear normal clothes. Yeah, because I, dude, I used to uh, I used to be a waiter at this restaurant called Pasta Amore in Piermont, New York. Okay. And this is when I was actually sem- a, a Technically homeless. Both my parents broke up. I lived on my buddy's couch, his family's couch, for like five months, Jesus. and so I had to get this shitty job while I was also trying to do comedy for the first time and like trying to also move into the city to uh-huh. like start my adult life. Mm-hmm. And I had to ride my my Haro, my BMX bike. Shout out to Haro. Yeah, to it. you say Haro. Uh, it's hard. Yeah, either one. I don't okay. know, but I was fucking. I was rudely corrected in a BMX shop, so I've never made the mistake uh, again. Oh, it's Haro. Apparently. Ah, fuck that guy. Who cares? Haro. But I would. That the bike is like twenty inches off the ground. I'm six one, and I'm in a shirt and a tie with black shoes. Oh, and I know. Black I've seen slacks. that guy. <laughs> and I'm just as well be pushing a shopping cart. <laughs> it is. The saddest view of just biking Still a mile doing and tricks. a half. <laughs> doing endos doing and hit stuff. bumps yeah. and like kind of turning the wheel. <laughs> Chow, you guys <laughs> riding on pegs and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's tough, man. Yeah. You see it, because I live up by the GWB. You see it, dudes trying to not pay the toll. Yes. So they'll come in, they, they scoot over, they rollerblade over, skateboard, all in suits. Yeah. It's like that's not the you know, that's not the lawyer I want on the case. <laughs> no, no. I could never all. get away with it. I'd be sweating my balls off. Oh yeah. Well say if you own your own bird scooter and you're using it to just go from Fort Lee to the A train sure. and then ride it. That's what they do. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah. They I know. come over like dude, they they ride out in like gangs. It does save money, so I'm and I'm probably time a good yeah, idea, yeah. but it's like it does make you look like the a city don't ball. hit them up for a little bit of scratch. It's not like a scooter charge or no, something. You just cross no. the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Easy peasy. I don't like that. I used to not have a net on that. They, no, they put one up. Like I mean, up until like maybe four. They they started doing construction on it and put it up, and I think it just they they net on what on the bridge. Yeah, now it looks like a driving range. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it used to be just no. It was just a railing, so nobody can jump. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. No, that was the spot, man. They you all, get sad. There'd be cars just pulled over. And dude, they guy, have. Just... There's a guy that sits up there. <laughs> oh really? And I didn't know. Lost my ping pong table. <laughs> I'm out. I didn't know, and I, <laughs> I walked to. Uh, I was all fucked up, and I was like, "I'll watch the sunrise from the bridge." It was mm-hmm. like, you know, like this is the summer. It was just, just got to start getting kind of late. I'm like, I'll walk across the bridge. It's all fucked up. And shirts all like I'm all. I just look like I'm. Yeah. Like I had the worst night of my life. Yeah. And the guy's like, "Are you good, man?" I'm like, "I'm just really soaking it in, man." Like giving them, like real vague. One last time. Yeah. <laughs> real vague lines about life. Man, sunsets. You'll never see one like this yeah, again. Right. You gotta get while the getting's good, you know what I mean, pal? Dude, yeah. when I was super fun, like when I was at my most destructive, kind of trying to end my own life through drugs and alcohol, my buddy Tim and I in Piermont would go to the Hudson River and we'd climb the fence and at the foot of the Hudson River, he'd pack a fat and I'd do coke off of DVD cases and smoke cigs and we'd just be like... Uh, we gotta end this soon, yeah, buddy. That's <laughs> like, this no good. Gotta, this has gotta end soon. Yikes! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to hell, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> no movie showing. That's the first time weekend? I've seen Toby just like. It's a Gramercy Theater on uh, February twenty fifth. <laughs> February twenty fifth, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, this guy's a real ball of sunshine. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Childhood trauma and more. <laughs> <laughs> You want to do something special, get that broad that fucking low-balled you on the ping-pong table up there. <laughs> I see her in the gym. Wait, where? Still, oh, in my there. gym. So I, I, we moved back to Rockland during the pandemic. Sure. Right. And uh, I, I go to a gym, which is like far enough out where I don't run into too many people from so my hometown. So you got to do it. And, uh, but I run into her. She goes there all the time. She's like a jacked huh. older lady. Really? Yeah. Huh. She good looking? Kind of. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely, she could get it. I wonder okay. if she still has the table. They they have a new table. I've been there. Oh. My uh, we're still friends with her son. Gotcha. So and he has a baby. So we'll sometimes like go over there and she's like, "You want to play ping pong?" And I'm like, "Are you trying to reopen Oak Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> don't broad. I'm kidding. She's probably a nice lady. Love and I respect the fact that she yeah. beat you up all time. Thank you. <laughs> Stop no. saying their names, dude. <laughs> Leave that one. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Mikey, the tell all tell Jesus all book. Christ. This guy's this guy's got a death wish. <laughs> fucking working for the feds. Buddy, I'm here. just swinging for the fences. What are you gonna do? I love it. <laughs> Dropping dimes. Uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from Pure Trash eighty four. Is it garbage you drink the night before you have a doctor's appointment? <laughs> <laughs> That's really not caring. No. Mm-hmm. But no. also, you give them a fair gauge of, hey, yes. this is where I'm at. Sure, I'm yeah. not trying to church. That's like brushing your teeth a thousand times before you go right. to the dentist. It's Reading like, hey, salads. I'm raw dogging this. Yeah. This is where I'm at. This is what this is my yeah. day-to-day. This is a more realistic interpretation yes. of my body yes. than if I ate salads for four days. Head and sure. Head. I've gotten yeah. hemmed up with that where I didn't not eat before blood work. And like I ate like I normally ate. Yeah. And they like called me like that afternoon. Like, hey, hey, you gotta hey, get in here. What the fuck? Cholesterol's eighty eight thousand. <laughs> yeah. You ever hear Sagalo's story no. about that? Where his he like went to get his first COVID test and his blood drawn and he has a horrible thing with needles mm-hmm. and he like tells the lady and she more or less pushes him aside calls him a pussy and is like you'll be fine and then he woke up seizuring oh. on the floor. I had like, a buddy man as soon as you pull the needle horrible. out horrible pass the fuck right out. And she's like, what happened? He's like, I literally warned you. I told you. I told you I'm a pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just being a pussy. That's crazy. Yeah. I have no problem with needles. No. It doesn't even really hurt. Really? No. Not at all. They usually have to go into it's my like a hand. whale skin. <laughs> 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 you just go <laughs> right into Foley. <laughs> he looks at you for a minute. <laughs> he walks over and lays in the corner. <laughs> Do you have tattoos? No. None? You don't? No. Thinking about oh, getting shit. one, though. No kidding? Yeah. What are you going to get? Uh, I was getting my dad's initials right here, I'm thinking. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. Because I like Kevin's face right here. Drinking here. before <laughs> tattoos. Be uh, you bleed out. out. Yeah. I know a kid. I, a, kid a, a kid's <laughs> older brother would do it. bleed out. A kid's older brother would do it. Like, That's you're how running, the sailors used to do it. Well, you're not supposed to drink because it thins your blood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this kid came down. Holding a 30 p, had just gotten like a chess piece or something. <laughs> his kid came walking down the basement with his shirt up over his thing. Just bloody. Just <laughs> gushing. <laughs> Looking like Denzel at uh, the end of training yes, day. <laughs> just like, uh, Trying to get who, to the truck. Uh, who's going to do it? Holes. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, what the fuck? I remember my buddy Timmy and I went to Modern Age in Nanuet, New York, and he had drank the night before, and we got, like, you know, matching tattoos or something queefy. And That's cute. The guy literally goes, touches his skin, and it just started pouring blood down his yeah, arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, you must have hit a seam. <laughs> <laughs> hit a seam. Yeah. I don't, uh, I'm not a tat man. No, I got a couple. All mostly regrettable. Hmm. Yeah, I just yeah. saw the one on your finger for the first time. Oh, this one. Yeah, one. this is a uh, this is like in lieu of a wedding ring because I just don't. Sure. I don't. Really I don't wear, wear a wedding jewelry. ring either. Yeah. yeah this also one. Also, to let the ladies know I'm still out there. That's Fuck right. It. That's <laughs> right. You'll make a mistake if the offer's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and this one was for Mike uh, Di Stefano. And then I have the Grim Reaper doing stand up comedy on the inside of my arm. Wait, when did you get that? Like one minute into stand-up comedy. <laughs> right after I signed up for my first open. I didn't even do it yet. You <laughs> signed up, then went to get the tattoo. Two drinks I got to yeah. buy. I'm in this forever. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Waiting for my name to be called out of a bucket. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> then I have St. Michael the Archangel in Gaelic on my uh, left you arm. the true dirtbag. Yeah, Jesus. then I have uh, a Gaelic knot cross sure. on the upper back where it's like more or less just a tramp stamp put up top mm-hmm. and it's a full bullseye if somebody wants to shoot a rope on it <laughs> guy fieri on your calf <laughs> <laughs> flavor town and here i have the lyrics to ba with the ba the <laughs> 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 bang the bang the <laughs> Man, yeah, you it. truly are Woo! a dirtbag. Yeah. Yeah. Rockland County you, is a special place. Dude, oh, you buddy. hit that because we're the same age, right? Yeah, 36? Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, I'm 37. So yeah, so um, that was a very sp- – our junior high and high school and early 20s was a very specific time to really be a dirtbag. Yes. Of like the tattoos Oof. got very popular, rap music, yeah. the whole fucking well, the, the worst energy kind drinks. of tattoos. It's like now like line tattoos and whatever and like at least artistry is in style. Sure, they, <clears throat> yeah. Barbed wire and Chinese symbols and uh-huh. shit. like my buddy Rob crosses. Everybody I know everyone. has a cross or some sort of word on them. The about tribals like, were big when you oh, guys yeah. were kids. Yeah. I was saying energy drinks were coming out. Dude, my buddy who's dead now had <laughs> a full fucking tribe. Like, he's Ukrainian. And he had a full <laughs> yeah, yeah, tribal yeah. thing all over his arm. And it was like appalling. Everybody that saw Walking it Walking around like, like Buano. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't. It was tough, dude. Everybody, because rap music was so popular, yeah. and like being tough, yeah, was such a. Cool I wanted to be Jason Williams. Yeah, there you go. White chocolate. That, you wanted to, everybody ball. wanted to be t- like that kind of dirt bag. Was like you sold drugs, you yeah. did drugs, you listened to rap, you knew somebody with a gun. Like yeah. everybody, your that's clothes were brutal, tough, dude. Yeah, I, the Jankos and all that. I stuff. I mean, Jankos was early, but yeah. When I think, did you the, have any? No, I had Lee Pipes. Those are the off brands, right? Those were like the uh, your mom loved you. Sure. Okay. You know what I mean, like yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. a completely dysfunctional house. Yeah, yeah. You guys would be the same age as AJ Soprano, the character, right? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Just about ballparkish, yeah. like yeah. Slipknot jackets and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, he was younger. I fucking hated those kids. I wasn't a Slipknot kid though. No, I, was, I, was well, all I had that album. album. That album was all right. I, I imagine you in a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just looked at you so differently. That album was all right. <laughs> yeah, and fashion wise, it's all like cool now, which is weird. Sure. It's, it's weird to see, but it is funny that like well, it's like least, ironic. It became yes. ironically cool to wear like yeah, yeah. big baggy clothes and, and Oakleys, sure, and shit. Yeah, it's it's very very Shout odd. Out to Oakleys. But Dude, everybody I know right. has like. Their son's face on their back. Oh my god! Like, or like you drawn. know, uh, just like sayings. Yeah. Only God can judge me. <laughs> yeah. He, you know, all that shit. I have you gotta be these. a killer to have. My that. friend has <laughs> blessed like LeBron has chosen mm-hmm. across his fucking full back. Yeah, that's wow. crazy. Yeah, it's tough. I had one buddy who's he had he had respect was the first had or loyalty. Yeah, oh, uh, loyalty is loy- so loyalty big, was dude. big in the early big. 2000s. I we grew up and dude, he was fucking everybody's girlfriend, and he yeah. was like he had loyalty <laughs> on. Him. We were like, dude, the irony of that, like that's what you chose. <laughs> we grew up in a very like loyalty tough guy. It was a rap. Era. It was like you know, yeah, ma, like good, fe- all that, shit and don't was- disrespect, dude, dude. don't disrespect loyalty. Family. And when you guys were kids, was, it seemed like that's when kids were really getting hurt in fights. Yeah. We you grew were up like hit, Fast and the Furious. You were hitting each other with like pipes and shit like that. Oh, yeah. It was no just fucking mano a mano duke it out. It was like fucking Deadwood. You guys were fucking going it. And the nose rings. That, that, we never did that. I my did friend, have my belly button pierced for a short period of time. <laughs> did you really? No, oh, you my didn't. God, dude. I, my it heart was spring sunk. Break. <laughs> <laughs> it was got, Panama Beach. He's got braids in his hair. <laughs> I went to the Poconos. <laughs> I was at a water park. <laughs> <laughs> I was at Safari Sands. Oh. What do you want from me? He come back speaking a Jamaican accent for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> One braid. <laughs> uh, yeah, Go to Niagara right. Falls for the weekend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stink. <laughs> Loyalty was huge, huge in the early 2000s. That's man. so funny. It's that's such a specific kind of dirt bag. Yeah, a white T-shirt. A f- oh dirt, yeah, a pair of Air Forces, a fitted hat, mm-hmm. something, and like really holding a grudge over somebody. <laughs> <laughs> the if same. You give me a chain. pack of Marlboro Milds and a grudge. I'm in. Oh, dude, <laughs> your generation was prime for the pills to take oh, over. Dude. Oh, yeah. really? Was, yeah, it was like the perfect storm. Because we it never taught. Horrible. We were we weren't taught about feelings, but we were slightly emo. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So we yeah we just like thought we romanticized being fucked up, or at least I did. Oh, I really yeah, thought yeah. like that's why I hung on to drinking for even like two years longer than I should have. Some still are. That's right. <laughs> uh, but I like hung on to that image of like, no oh, man, this is like what it is. The loser comic. And like sure, I yeah, get to yeah, like yeah, wake yeah. up feeling like shit. Like that's how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. It's, oof. I can see you being right at home playing basketball solo, angry. Oh yeah. Dude, you ever see above the rim In and like jean shorts. preacher playing with no ball against sure. the ghost that he killed? <laughs> that was me at Veterans Park in Orangeburg just crossing up nobodies. Like being like, get off me. Get off me. <laughs> You can't guard me. You can't guard me. You're not my real dad. <laughs> There's an intramural team waiting to play. <laughs> There's a bunch of eight-year-olds. Just kids eating oranges. Yeah. Horrified. You go out and shoot around at their halftime. That was all. Oh, nonstop. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, nonstop. That was so. That's like that's not, dude. That was the corniest move. When like the older brother or whatever go out shoot around at. They would kill little kids halftime game. I would do it at my now wife's 
then girl high school girlfriends oh, AAU stink. games. So this is a, this is a crazy. Shea with a real foul shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a crazy story. And so I I went to this game. It was her AAU game. What I didn't know is that during the game, one of the coaches brought a water bottle of vodka, and she accidentally grabbed it, thinking it was hers. Jesus. Chugged it and like spit it out. Whatever. Jesus. But the, the dad was like, "Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry <laughs> about that." Like, which would be like front page news now, but it was oh, kind yeah. of just brushed off as, "Oh, she's goofy now." It's a new Gatorade, hour. kids. Yeah. So I went out and I was shooting, you know, at, in between corners. You were timeouts. older or younger? Same, same age, age. Same age. But we're like 15. All right. So I'm I'm out there and there was one break where I was just unconscious. I hit like 12 in a row, just couldn't miss. And I'm playing with all these black kids. And then we come up on the bleachers. <laughs> and after they did this whole thing where they're like, man, we, we're baptizing you black. We're, uh, you're good at basketball, dude. You're fucking nice. And they started fake peeling off their skin and throwing Jesus. it at me. And they're like, you're now black, dude. And you were like, and loyalty. I've, Jesus. I've, I've, I've just held on to that forever. Yeah, and yeah. That's, you're like, this is now my identity. That's right. <laughs> I thought you were going to say they asked you to be on the girls' team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have a wig in the car by any chance? Get you a dress. We got a big game coming up. Yeah. When you were a little kid, yeah. if you were at your older brother's game, or at like a high school game that like your cousin played on and it was halftime and you went out there and shot around. That was it. That was fine. Yeah. Trashy. Yeah. That's when all the little dirt balls are running on the court. But if you're doing it as an older kid. Yeah. No, I was coming out and blocking those children. <laughs> like I would do that where they like a four year old would come up and all smiles and I'd fuck fucking out of my house. punch it into the just eighth thinking row. somebody from Nike or Adidas is gonna yeah. be there. And be Phil like, Knight is sitting front row. That's him right there. Shoe dog. Did you have the <laughs> and one mixtape VHSs? Yeah, every one the of DVDs. them. DVDs. Yeah, every single one of them. Shout I also I we I so I went I, I was good good at basketball early and then I flamed out obviously but I. Uh, I went away You're to doing like coke down by a river. <laughs> that, that was later. That's later. That's when everything was away. <laughs> that was in between basketball. Doing coke of a Kenny Chesney going down and hanging at the quarry. It sounded like <laughs> <laughs> that's not far off. Sure. Jesus Christ! Um, but what was I saying? I don't even remember. <laughs> who cares? You, you were dunking on some twelve-year-old girl. That's, that's where right. you were. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> I flamed out. Uh... Uh, let's go. Stuff. Uh we gotta wrap it up here, gang. Mikey. This has been a this the, has been a the, real hoot. You guys are the best. Well, I appreciate my yearly checkup to find out if I'm garbage or not. Well, you're still <laughs> a certified Holy dirt bag. Yeah. Pencil me in for once a twelve month <laughs> favor. <laughs> Somehow every time he come on, it gets worse. We find out more. <laughs> God damn. The ping pong table's all right. Yeah. Um ladies and gentlemen, February twenty fifth, the Gramercy yeah. Theater, Mike Cannon. Super funny. Get those tickies. Do please. yourself a favor. You know him. You love him. Go see him. We love you. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, we're all over the road. We got dates. Get those tickets. Those tickies are moving quick. We want to see you, and we're adding more dates. We're mm -hmm. coming everywhere, so just hold tight. It's going to be a good time. Mike, you got anything else you want to throw at them? Uh, here's the Scenario Podcast of with course. me, Sagalo, and Feeney. It's a real course. good fun Feeney, time. Start with guests. your episode. You guys have been on, and oh, uh, yeah. yeah, we got to get you back. Toblerone, you're you're welcome as well. We got to do this. Hell yeah. Good time. We love yeah. you, buddy. Gang, love you. we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.